Hi there and welcome to the Colour Blast Australia YouTube channel. It's Melinda here with you today and I'm sharing this page that is coming up in two seconds that I made using the beautiful Colour Shimmer Sprays and the Colour Sprays. Now for some reason I don't know what happened to my footage but I haven't recorded my first process of watercolouring this cut file up. So basically I just picked out my rainbow of colours going in the good old Roy G. Biv order and used a paintbrush and painted them on straight out of the bottle. I made sure that uh, each of the colours overlapped the next colour a little bit and made sure that they were still wet when I put the next colour on. Once I'd done my whole rainbow, I added a spray of the Snow White Shimmer Spray over the whole thing because it was just beautiful. It gives such a beautiful shimmer. That's the photo that I'm scrapping. It is a um, double rainbow that I managed to catch. I have a bit of a thing for rainbows and get really excited every time I see them. I have, um, I will read you my journaling when it gets to that point, but it's quite symbolic about, you know, new beginnings and, and the storm after, the, the, sorry, the sunshine after the clouds, that sort of thing. So I'm working on my background here. And I'm using the very technical packaging technique. So I've just got some packaging there. This is the Sapphire Color Spray. So it has no sparkle. And I've just literally, you can see I've put three little dots of color on there. I wanted it to have a bit of sparkle. So I've also pulled out the Snow White Shimmer Spray. And I will add one drop of that and mush it up. This part of the video is in real time. So I've slowed it right down so you can get a really good idea of what I'm doing. And then once I've done the first bit, I've sped it up again. So I just applied the colour uh, using the packaging technique. And just keep going until I'm happy with it. So away I go, applying that colour. This is such a fun, easy technique. If you haven't tried it, I highly recommend it. So it's about to speed up. So there you go. So I just keep applying colour until I'm happy with it. And you'll see that I keep bringing over the cut file and seeing if I'm happy with the placement. Oh, I didn't mention the clouds on both the rainbow cut file and just the plain clouds. I've used the steel... Um, colour shimmer spray and the snow white colour shimmer spray to give them a bit of colour, a bit of sparkle and you know dark clouds for storms and then they lighten up and you know all that stuff. So yeah I keep bringing back in the cut file and seeing where my colour is and if I'm happy with it and adding a bit more and for the very obvious reason that clouds and rainbows are in the sky I've gone with the sapphire colour um, and you'll see in a minute that I come in with some of the steel shimmer spray as well. But I'll explain what I'm doing when I get to that. So I'm just continuing on with this uh, sapphire colour spray until I'm happy with how it looks. And I'm I'm currently looking at the finished page and I love how this came together. Love it. I think I come in with the heat gun in two seconds. Give it a quick dry. Yeah, so I wanted to make sure that this part was completely dry before I went on to the next part. This is where I grabbed the steel, I think, the steel shimmer spray. Yeah, so I have, um, I forgot to mention as well, I've got a coat of clear gesso on the page where I knew I was going to do some watercolour. Um, that's the steel and just taking the nozzle out, grabbing my favourite watercolour paintbrush and really simply just dabbing the colour on and sort of blending it a little bit with some of that blue. Again, grey skies, rainbows, they sort of go together. So, yeah, again, I've slowed this down to real time so that you can see what's happening and I'll speed it up again to finish it off. Okay. So just adding a little bit there, I wanted some I wanted some shimmer and I just the symbolicness of it because this is yeah that's sort of where this layout went.
All right, so that's all dry. And I'm going to come in with some splatters, I think. Again, just using the paintbrush and those two colours, the sapphire and the steel. Oh, I've disappeared. There we go. So every time, you'll notice every time I dip that paintbrush into the steel, I mix it up a bit, and that's just to get the sparkle happening all over again. So then I go in with the blue as well. And I wanted more of the blue splatters, so I added more of them. You can sort of see the outline of where I put the gesso down the bottom there. I was thinking about doing some mixed media behind the photo and then completely changed my mind. And I end up going with the tiniest little layer of paper behind there. So I soak up some of the wetness and get that completely dried and then I can move on with the next step. Notice that the colours on the rainbow are quite a bit more pastel and that's because I used more water with them. So you can water them down to get more of a softer look. Obviously you can use them straight out of the bottle by spraying them and you get a much more um, saturated colour. So I save you the, the torture of watching me apply all that foam. But as you can see I've used foam to attach the title. And in the final product it's not all completely fat and I'm flat. And I'm quite happy with that. I did want it to have a bit of texture and a bit of dimension. And I really, really like how it looks. So I'm using wet glue to adhere everything down. If you haven't done much mixed media before, if you don't use the wet glue I found, then stuff just does not stick. It falls off. Just making sure that's all stuck down. And then there's not really much left at all, I think. Yeah, so next up you will see me gutting the rainbow paper that I decided to back the whole layout on. And then I get annoyed with my bit of paper and my paper trimmer, so I take my scissors to my layout to give a not completely perfect straight edge on the four sides. So yeah, I'm just cutting the inside of my paper. Uh, the other thing that you don't see is me adding my journaling, a little bit of stamping. I just wanted to include the date and I just used my big, um, it's a Stampin' Up! roller stamp with the whole alphabet and all the numbers. And I've just put winter 2016 and stamped that diagonally across the page, added my journaling, did a little bit of stitching as well, which you'll see in the close-ups. Um, and I'll just quickly read you my journaling. It says, like winter, life is filled with storms and I am always reminded that with no rain, no rainbows. Every year I get excited when I see my first rainbow and nearly without fail, every time I am reminded of just how beautiful life is. Rainbows are one of my favourite things about winter as they always come after a storm and are a promise of things to come. So like I said, it's a bit of a, more of a sentimental than a, than anything layout, but it was a story that I really, it was something that I really wanted to get documented because it occurred to me that lots of people probably don't know I love winter and that I love rainbows. So this is just going into the close-ups. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I shall see you next time. Have a fabulous scrappy day.